Hey guys, what's up? It's the Banana Crew, and we game! game. It's Wigwam, Hippie, and Kelly. We're bringing you your weekly mandatory crew meeting. Don't be happy. Don't say uh, hi. No, sit down, shut up, take notes. Okay. This week, our green screen theme is brought to us by the Combo Breakers, who picked... Combo Breakers? Yes. Actually. Combo Breaker videos. There you go, Ari. Mm. Thank you. You Thanks. kept asking for it. You ask on the Banana Crew. We, we deliver, right? Well, you'll receive it sooner or later at some point. We're a little slow, but we got it. We bring you what you want. We're a little what? Also, Eventually. we were trying to find a better one, but you know, we ran out. So leave us a green screen theme down below. We'll basically pick it automatically. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, if you have a cool idea, leave it down below. Do it. Do it, or hippie gets it. Please do it. <laughs> do it. Come on. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wigwam here with your indie spotlight of the week. This week we're doing one on Aberford. A game about 50s housewives and zombies. Aberford is going to be a game by Sketchy Panda Games. They have a Kickstarter going right now. Uh, what they're going to do with this game is they're going to have four very well-developed 50s housewives that are taking on the zombie apocalypse. It's going to be set right in the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. So this isn't one of those, boom, there you are, right in the middle of the zombie apocalypse, go crazy. No, this is going to be an origin story. It's Spider-Man Reboot 5. All the characters are supposed to be very well developed. They're all supposed to have their own personalities, their own play styles. All the gameplay is going to focus on fast, tight, and athletic combat because, as the developer says, uh, these are going to be 50s housewives versus guys that are bigger, bulkier, they're going to be smaller, they're going to be lighter. You got to use your strengths to your advantage, you're going to be faster, so that's what you're going to do, that's what the combat's going to focus on. And you're going to have moral choices in the game, so based on which wife you choose and which way you want to play the game, you can decide whose plan you want to go with, who you think is the best character, who's got the better moral decisions, who's going to make you survive. Your choices will shape the game, so each playthrough should have a little bit of diversity to it, so it should have some good replayability. Here's hoping there's lots of customization, so it looks fun. This isn't your slow Dead Rising style zombies, this is gonna be your faster infected style Left 4 Dead zombies, which personally is the kind of zombie I prefer. Crazy, scary, fast, infected types, which aren't technically zombies, but I swear to God if you say that in the comments, I will fucking smack you. Aberford is looking for $675,000 though, which is quite a huge chunk of change. They've raised about 10%. As we know, if you follow a lot of Kickstarters, most of them get all their money in the last couple of days. Really, in the last two days is where the big boom comes. So they've raised about 10%. They've got a long way to go, and they've got a very hefty goal. About $25 is what you're going to need to donate if you want to get the game and beta access both come together. Uh, so you need at least $25 if you want an actual copy of the game from the Kickstarter. So I'm not sure if they're going to reach their goal. It's a cool looking game, but they haven't really shown us that much. Honestly, I don't know if they've shown us enough to justify $675,000. But check it out with the links down below, make the decision for yourself, and let us know if you're gonna back it on Kickstarter. And then I drew a dick. Bye bye. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Fucking asshole, right? Hey guys, it's Hibby here bringing you the weekly schedule. This Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we're playing a game called Freedom Planet. It was a lot of fun. Towards the end, I got to tell them what to do. Being in a sling, I wasn't able to play the game myself. Wednesday, we are bringing you a first look at the Flame and the Flood. We previously did a indie spotlight on this, not maybe a month and a half ago. So go ahead and check that game out. It just came out last week. A lot of fun. We loved it. It's a really tough game. Friday, we're bringing you guys a game called Ladybug. It's about a silent killer in a lab and you're yellow and you kill scientists. And on Sunday, we're bringing you more Binding of Isaac Rebirth runs in, in preparation for Afterbirth, which is coming out October 30th. We're ready for it. We're excited for it. At least I am, and maybe Wigwam. Kelly does, doesn't play that game, so. I'm indifferent. Yes, you heard the man. This has been Ippy with the schedule. Hey everybody, it's Kelly here, here to bring you this week's random bit for the crew meeting. The Oculus Rift is coming out in quarter one 2016, and being PC gamers with the Banana Crew, we were all wondering, what does it take to run one of those things? Is your computer ready? Maybe, maybe not. The specs aren't as bad as they could be, but they are quite high-end. As far as video cards go, you will need about a GTX 970 or an AMD R9 290, which is quite high up there for video cards. Now those cards are about $300 to $250 respectively, and that's about as cheap as they come, so those are quite high in price. As far as CPUs are concerned, you're gonna need an i5-4590 or a FX-8350. They're about the comparable cards for that. Now those are about $200 to $160 respectively. Not that bad, but still quite high in price. As far as RAM goes, it's pretty standard, 8 gigs, and most everybody has that now for the games that come out nowadays. 
Now these are all the things you need for the minimum requirements just to run the game at a steady frame rate. This isn't that surprising, but it still does hurt for those with mid to low end PCs. You're just not quite gonna make it. For people not really comfortable with building their own PCs, Dell, Asus, and Alienware are gonna bundle this and make PCs that are powerful enough to run the Oculus Rift all at once. Just the PC alone is gonna cost you about $1,000, but if you wanna bundle it up, it should be a bit less than $1,500. So in recap, people with high-end PCs really don't need to worry too much. People with mid-range PCs, you're going to need to look for an upgrade if you really want an Oculus Rift. I've been Kelly, and this has been your random bit. Bye-bye. Let's freeball this outro. So you want me to take my underwear off? Hey guys, thanks for watching our crew meeting this week. If you liked it, give us a like, give us a comment, give us a green screen. Give us a subscriber. Give us a green Do screen. It. This one's old. Yeah, it's we need rose. It's one. not really green enough for me. Yeah. It's not the proper chroma key, chroma key green, guys. <laughs> I want a green lantern green green screen. Go home. You can also ask us a question down below. We'll probably answer it. Make it really personal. I don't care. Ask me about my junk. Ask me about my wiener. Ah, damn it. <laughs> ask me about my bush. Is his friendly. name George? Shh. They gotta ask it first. <laughs> Shh, they're gonna ask you first. <laughs> You're giving out all the details. <laughs> we love your beautiful faces. Bye bye. Bye. Fuck you, Steven. Fuck you. You know what you did. Bang. Fuck. <laughs> ah.